All right, guys, just got into the fucking Airbnb. And I just wanted to give a quick little rundown of this place. I only spent like a hundred pounds on this for the week. Um, starting off with the fucking shower, half shower, half hot tub. Now I'm six foot uh, three slash four. So that would be a little bit packed for me. But if you're a bit shorter, then you could probably make that work. You know, I'm probably gonna peruse in there a little bit, but yeah, like it's something new and the shower itself is nice. Like the water was really warm and all that shit. Obviously it's not too interesting going over the, the shower, but take a look at this. I've never seen, look at that. Look at the attention to detail. Wow. Yeah, but look how fucking cozy that looks. That is, obviously you got all my rubbish and shit. Don't mind that. But look at that HDMI to the fucking monitor. Because my, my screen's gone the way of the dodo. But look how cozy this bed looks. Wow. Wow. What would a hundred pounds get you in England? Or fucking Australia? Fuck all. That's what it'd get you. And also, listen to this jingle. Ah, oh, when you first turn on the AC in air. Listen to this shit. Oh. Wow. I think the bird who owns this shit is Chinese. And she really knew what she was doing when she was putting this place together. It really does feel like a home away from home. I honestly think if you are just on a moderate budget, Vietnam shits on Thailand. And they say that the people in Vietnam are ruder than the people in Thailand. Is it fuck? People here are way cooler than people in Thailand. Like, this is the thing. There are cool people in Thailand. But in Thailand, when someone's smiling at you, it usually means that they're trying to sell you something. Whereas in Vietnam, people here are genuine as fuck. You may meet the odd person out here who has a face like thunder and who doesn't like white people, but at least you know where you stand. It's not like Thailand where people are fucking talking shit about you saying falang, 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 and then fucking trying to get money out of you the next second, or where the Thai police are sucking your fucking money dry like a blood-sucking mosquito. In Vietnam, you can get by, and it is chill out here. And if you can get some vagine, I would say the level of vagine in, in Vietnam is probably of a higher standard than the vagine in Thailand. Lord knows the birds have lower body counts, which some people may not care about, but I certainly do. You know, it doesn't feel very special if a bird's had more than five dicks inside her. You know what I mean? Let's be real. Like, like, uh, I know they're trying to push fucking casual sex on everybody. I personally think if a bird's had five dicks, she's finished. She's dead as disco. That pussy, she's, she's a 3 0 foe. She ain't nothing but a 3 0 foe. She a hoe. It ain't Christmas, but she certainly is a ho, ho, ho. So. Yeah, I reckon Vietnamese birds are better than uh, Thai birds. But if you just want to get your Johnson wet, then probably Thai birds are the way to go. And, as they say, going to Thailand and not fucking a tranny is like going to Turkey and not eating a kebab. So. And lastly, we got the fucking stove. I actually brought my own little hot plate along. Because I thought they... Uh, they weren't going to have this type of shit in Vietnam. <laughs> um, but uh, we got the fridge and the freezer. And that's perfect for me because I don't want to rely on street food for dinner. I need something with a bit of sustenance. Sustenance. 